Namaskaram to Swami ji and my friends on the dais and the elders who are assembled here the teachers the students i have never participated in the book release of a person who is alive never but i made an exception in this case for four reasons because it was about yogi adityanath yogi adityanath is not a normal politician is not an ordinary politician in fact when i see how yogi adityanath came up my mind went back to a lecture which i heard sometime in 1971 imagine you remembering a lecture in 1971 because that lecture was the shortest lecture i ever heard in my life so the person who had come to give a lecture he was supposed to speak for one hour he said today morning i read a newspaper in which the news item described mrs indira gandhi the prime minister coming down from the aircraft wearing a white sari with a blue border that is a news item so he said the newspapers the readers the people are interested in the ordinary things about extraordinary people but we are here to know about the extraordinary things in ordinary people this lecture i could never these are he said i want you to think about it and he left the podium it was a training class all of us were in and this one rss training class and he said for the next one hour you think about what i am saying because the idea of education the idea of any training is to discover extraordinary things in ordinary people that is the process by which yogi adityanath's greatness was discovered by one person he was his guru he at a very young age he identified the extraordinary quality in him and that is how we have yogi adityanath you know we see politicians we all rank politicians we are club politicians we bracket them but you cannot bracket yogi adityanath for three reasons even of course all of you all you have mentioned all the reasons but the important thing is that he did it in uttar pradesh is important Uttar Pradesh was written off that it was an ungovernable state that it is a state of crime it is a state of corrupt corruption it is a state of communal rights if you look at the communal rights that have taken place in the country almost 40% of them would have been in Uttar Pradesh of course at some stage i used to follow it but in the last 4 5 years 10 years there is no communal right at all and so we have forgotten about communal rights otherwise we used to track where is the communal right now you have to find out where is the communal right because there is no communal right at all the credit goes to a person who had the grit and the determination and the courage to put his qualities to use in the office and not compromise it for power that's why i came here because this was a book about yogi adityanath I met him in 2007 in the RSS Karyalaya in Delhi. That was my first meeting with him. He was far young at that time. In fact, we exchanged only a few sentences. That was the beginning of our relationship. After which, we never met. But he is such a humble person. I sent a message through Santanu that I want to talk to Yogi Adityanath. within 10 minutes the man called me of course i had nothing personal to ask him the kanchi shankaracharya was going to uttar pradesh for chaturmas 
So I wanted the Uttar Pradesh because I had spoken to Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra governments. I wanted him to facilitate his stay there because after several decades, a Shankaracharya from South is going to Kashi for Chaturmas. Within 10 minutes the call came, I only told him that this is the requirement. He said, I already, I have been told about it, I am acting on it. So, I had nothing to do. I only got the information and passed it on to the Shankaracharya. What I am saying is the humility. The most important thing, the greatest people, most powerful people, most educated people have to have is humility. So, I made an exception. Not participating in the book release of uh, people who are alive for that reason. Second, this Shantanu is a very difficult man. He came to my office and grabbed me and made me talk something and then felt that there is something in the man. He brought his young child. Ah, the boy is, I, I missed him. You know, he home educates this boy. He feels the education today is not all that great. It may even pollute his son. So, that got registered in my mind. So, when he is asking me to come, I didn't want to say no. The third reason is Seshar Punawala. I have been an admirer over the way he articulates. And so, I have not met him. So, this may be the occasion for me to meet. I don't know when I will meet him later. I am sitting in a corner in Chennai. These are all people ruling the country. So, I thought I would get an opportunity to meet him. Of course, the last and the most important reason is that it is Chinmaya Mission and Swami Mitrananda is going to be here. So, I am extremely happy that uh, Chinmaya Mission provided the platform and Swamiji took the initiative and uh, this is the rule of functioning of the world and the social order. People look at who is this Sreshta, who is the ideal person and then follow him. And they make him the role model or Pramana. And if that person is a wrong person, the entire society is corrupted. The entire society degenerates. So it is our responsibility to project to the right kind of people so that the society will have some good people to look at and draw lessons from their life. It is not only for personal advancement. Of course, there are many great people, many great industrialists whose books you can read if you want to come up in life in that way. But Someone who has shown a very comprehensive capacity not only to come up in a highly competitive field called politics and being a religious leader of a particular denomination and to be acceptable to all is something which we have to learn. One politician asked me in the year 1990 Mr. Guru Murthy, how to become acceptable to all? In fact, I have written about it in Tughlaq. Of course, he became chief minister in, uh, uh, in Karnataka later. I told him that in Shukraniti, in the sloka 68 or 69, I don't remember exactly what it is, Shukra told the Asuras, which is the Asuras did not follow. Shukra told the Asuras, never declare anybody as your enemy. Even if you have enmity in mind, don't declare it. Because after you declare, everybody will think you are his enemy. Even if you change, people will not believe. So don't declare your enmity to others. The second thing is, don't allow anybody to declare you as their enemy. Then the man asked me, I can stop doing the first thing. How can I prevent doing the next thing? Then I asked him, you are a politician. Of course, what I am going to say, saying may help Seshad Punawala. I said, somebody declares you are my enemy. Next day you will say, what are you doing? I am your friend. I will come to your house for a cup of tea. 
and invite all the media and go and have a cup of tea with him the man said it's a brilliant idea i said this is so in politics you have got to endear yourself to everybody you should have no enemies you should not allow anybody to declare as his enemy and i think in spite of all the strong positions even in appearance that yogi adityanath has i think he has no enemy thank you very much <laughs>